Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the euro currency. So over the weekend we, we've got an extended discussion on the what's going on in the market, what to keep an eye on, what could, ha could happen in the nearest time. Uh, so it's really everything now is twisting and turning around the Fed policy. Uh, so on the daily chart we actually have uh, some long-term or medium-term uh, perspective where we suggest that downward action could happen. The market could form the ABCD pattern to the downside if you can see on the chart. It's just because recent performance stands too strong to keep the bullish context and uh, it's more chances now that uh, it's after some pause, the downward action could be continued. At the same time, as we said, the vehicle report in a very short term perspective with a few sessions, it's reasonable to expect some pullbacks already have started. And in fact, on the weekend, we said we just need to wait when the market will show the signs of this starting pullback. Currently, you could see that so on the daily chart recently, the pullback, we've got nicely looking bullish engulfing pattern. It means that we could count on some at least intraday ABCD patch to the, to the 120 area. So whereas the target of this patient stands, maybe it will be more extended reaction, but currently we are focused mostly on the near standing target because we just think that currently it's mostly the, the, just the pullback. So overall picture as you will see on the intraday chart stands very uh, cleared. So actually it's no significant uh, difficulties to recognize the patterns that now are forming here. So on the daily chart, we have the bullish cover, in fact, uh, sorry, uh, bullish engulfing pattern. In fact, we talked about the possible Jodinapoli uh, stretch as market is standing around 618 level and daily oversold. So it also could be treated as a stretch maybe. So on the fall time frame chart, you could see this market has completed intraday XOP, shows the upward reaction. And here you easily could recognize the shape of the pattern that's forming. This is head and shoulders, it's very typical, it takes the part on the intraday chart when you see uh, on the daily chart this bullish engulfing pattern. So usually when the market forms the bullish engulfing, the first moment it shows minor pullback inside the body of the pattern and then starting the extension. So we have here resistance 1957, next level is around 120. So now 120, 120 or 7, 2024 is a confidence level. So that two levels as potential target also also take a look this will be natural support resistance area around 120. Um, based on the hand and shoulders let's take a look we have the ABCD pattern as usual minimum target will be 1965 and it agrees with the first level because it's 1957. Next one XLP stand 2010 and it's also perfectly agrees with the confidence. So for considering taking the short position maybe we will take a look at this. It's around 2010, so it stands right in the middle of the confidence area, so will be confidence and agreement. So maybe uh, this will be a sufficient relief to the 2010, it's approximately somewhere to this level. Well, it's, well, it's more than enough to uh, show the respect and abandon the oversold area and where theoretically we'll take a look whether this will be make, whether this will make sense to take the short position here. But in the short term, if you would like to trade this infra this stop, you could keep an eye on this hand and shoulders. The market keeps harmony accurately. This downward action stands relatively slow, which is very good. So potentially it might be, you could consider this uh, for uh, scalp trading on the intraday charts. Also, if you were uh, careful enough, so you, you probably also was able to recognize this cartridge triple two passion that has been formed right at the bottom of the head. But this is already stands in the past. So currently, we, stands, we have this passion. You could trade with classical rules, placing stop somewhere below this area. And uh, first target here and then XOP. So that's currently what we have on the euro currency. On the Great British Pound, you could see approximately the same story. So based on the Fed effect, you could see that our consolidation that we're expecting to be broken to the upside, of course, has been broken to the downside. But here you could see the same type of actions 
forming on the cable. And finally, in Australian dollar, the setup that we discussed has been completed. This ABCD and head shoulders patient, you can see market accurately has completed the ABCD and the weekly grabber that we talked about right here also has completed its target as market drop below this loss. So the some minimum setup, minimum target to the downside already is done on the Australian dollar. So let's keep watching what we will have on the euro currency. As you can see this tendency starting to develop.